Mr. Parker here. Uh, I'm just kind of excited about this release. I got it today. I got to go to work in a little bit, so I, I want to get this review done. I just watched it. I uh, come to the mailbox today. It said it shipped a few days ago, so I'm like, all right, did I get one of the special ones? And you know what? I managed to get a special one, which is awesome. Uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce this, but I was winner 83, which is awesome. And as you can tell, it's signed by Camille Keaton and the whole cast and everything. It's awesome. It says 83 out of 1,000 uh, there. So uh, I was excited. I don't usually get excited anymore for movies, so it was actually something amazing that I got excited, which is weird. And uh, so I popped it in. This one had a lot of buzz around it. I didn't get a chance to watch it at Cinema Wasteland, which is disappointing. But uh, this is uh, Toe Tag's new movie. And uh, it lives up to what I expected. It was actually a really well-made film. And I, I like to see, you know, Fred Vogel do, like, straightforward films like Red Sin Tower and stuff like that. You know, with a basic, like, more... I know August Underground and them have, like, plots and everything, but they're a little different. They're not typical, typical movies, which is a good thing and a different thing. But it's kind of cool to see him do, like, another official, straightforward movie. Uh, and... Uh, when I watched the commercial for this one, I was thinking that looks similar to Bob Clark's Death Dream. And uh, this one has a couple aspects of Death Dream, but it's its own film for sure. Uh, it really starts uh, the first hour and probably about 30 minutes is a lot of psychological dealings with the, the family and their problems. And uh, talks about uh, there's some racial tension in here as well because the uh, one of the daughters is dating... Uh, a black guy and they don't ever come out and say it but it seems like at some points they do seem angry about that and not to mention that uh gavin is just an all-around prick and he doesn't care about anything and he's one of the most annoying characters of all time most dislikable and uh that, i mean he did a pretty good job that means because i wanted to beat the shit out of him but uh guess he did a good job there but anyways uh the film basically follows uh Bradley, sergeant, uh, sergeant in the military who gets, uh, he's gone for a while and uh, they didn't know what happened to his body and then he comes home uh, to his family in a wheelchair. Kamel Keaton is the mom, which is really cool to see Kamel Keaton in action. And uh, basically he's there, but he's not there. He's not right. He's pale. He's sick. And as it goes on and on over a couple days, he gets much worse. And uh, pretty soon orifices start leaking. Cell phones drive him nuts. Whistles drive him nuts. Terrible, terrible headache. Um, and some of the things here, it's just very sad to hear him repeat some of the stories when he's all looped out of it and going mad. And it's actually very depressing and very touching in a lot of ways. And I really thought I, I enjoyed it. And then, uh, you know, I was thinking, this is not like your typical toe tag. It's kind of like this psychological drama thriller deal. And then the last 30 minutes, pop, right to the face, toe tag, full, for full force, man. You get some excellent gore effects on top of that. Uh, and just some brutal stuff. And I'm not going to give the twist ending away here because not necessarily even a, I, I don't want to even call it really a twist. Just crazy ending. And, uh, you know, one time I had thought of something like that and I was thinking, you know, it's been done some, maybe a little bit. Uh, but you know what? A lot of movies would have done this and done something really cheesy and shitty. And this movie did it excellent and they uh, handled it well and it was believable and a little disturbing and uh the movie actually is very very gut-wrenching in a way and it's actually a really well-made movie i'd recommend this one so pick it up uh, i don't know if you'll get the kamel keaton autograph probably all gone probably all this is a special one only a certain amount of them had this autograph but uh it comes with making of commentary i haven't got a chance to watch it with the commentary i wanted to watch it without it at first but yeah i was really impressed with it i uh let me let me give a uh Sella. Tercia. I can't pronounce. My pronunciation skills are that of a, a second grader, if not worse. But you guys know the movie. And you guys wouldn't be watching a review if you didn't know. But this is uh, Toe Tags, obviously, their new picture. And uh, yeah, if and I know a lot of people are going to have to be patient with it. Uh, I know a lot of people don't just like the psychological type deals at first. Or uh, basically films. They just like want to watch movies. They don't want to concentrate on a lot of the other aspects of it. And the character development and stuff. But I mean... This is a good movie for the fact that you don't give a crap about people if they're just introduced and then they're dead. This movie builds a whole family up in the family structure, and then you watch it cave in at the very ending. And uh, it's a pretty crazy ending, to be honest. The last 20 minutes or so are over the toply crazy. Not even just insane stuff. And uh, it's actually really well made. I'm really looking forward to their next movie. Uh, check it out for sure. I, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to include uh, any clips because it's a new movie. And I know that a lot of uh, directors don't like to see their footage on there before, you know, it gets on there. A lot of people don't like that. So uh, I'm just going to let it, uh, you guys can watch the trailer. It's a, 
and that'll pretty much do it. I don't want to give anything else away, but uh, check it out. I, I was impressed. I really enjoyed it, and I thought it was a good film. Thank you very much, and have a good one. Bye.